don't be nice to him all the time. Always have an attitude and then be nice every once in a while. Your thoughts. <laughs> what? Make sure that he is continuously chasing you. Don't chase him. Don't always be available to him for sex. Don't cook, don't clean for him. This is outrageous. Right to jail, right away. Okay. Um, especially if you ain't even married. Make her realize that you're the prize and always look so good that he knows you got options. So when you leave the house, he get a little nervous. All right. That's how you stay. That's how you keep him chasing and in love. Okay. Men love mean women. Period. Don't be his peace. Police! Help! Help! That's it. What if you want to get married, but you don't get the ring? And then don't get married, but keep the ring. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Change your mind, but keep the ring. <laughs> Stupid. I'm not going to let you get the chance. Listen to me. We need to get these delusional bitches off the fucking internet. Because let's keep it gangster. You're not keeping my ring. I don't care what you say. You I'll no take it. To. Exactly. You're you fucking no stealing. To. I'll take it off your fucking finger, you fucking rat. That's a, a what are you talking thing. about? That's a gracious, generous, generous gift in, in, in contract, basically verbal contract, that y'all going to stay together. Let me tell you something. In, in, you can't keep that. In almost all the states, I'm almost 100% sure, giving an engagement ring is a conditional gift. The, con the condition is that you can keep the gift on... The condition that we get married. If we do not get married, it still belongs to me. You have to give it back. For so better, suck my dick, for bitch. better or for worse. Talking about, oh, keep the ring. You're not keeping nothing, bitch. I have the fucking sheriff drag that shit out your house. Fuck you talking about. Second of all, this bitch, follow this advice. This is how you get left alone and broke. Yeah. Because I guarantee you, no real nigga is putting up with this. She said, always keep an attitude. Really? Let me tell you something. A real man is not going to stand for that shit. You keep giving me attitude, you're going to get out of my fucking house. What What I don't understand is how is she giving this advice knowing the fact that there are other women out there who... There's a shitload of women who are gorgeous. And he can go on to the next. So I don't really understand how whether or not you look bad as the baddest bitch ever, but yet you're going to ignore him, but you don't think that he's going to step out right. and go to the next bitch? This bitch said, let him know As you... if you got options and he doesn't? Right. This bitch said, let him know you're the prize, you have <laughs> options. So does he. Right. And there's more beautiful women than there are rich niggas. So, therefore, he has more options than you. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Second of all, don't give him sex. Don't cook and clean. Don't be nice to him. So, what the fuck do you do other than be annoying? So, he knows you're not, you're worthless. You're not the prize. You're he garbage. Not gonna, he's not going to marry you and you're not going to get what you want. So, why would you even take this advice? Right. This is to set up a failure. Right. You're, you're going to fail listening to this goofy bitch. What could possess you to basically say... I'm gonna get a man. I'm gonna do absolutely nothing, okay. and I'm go and he's gonna and he's gonna chase after me and fawn after me because and just stay with me and give me whatever I want because that definitely works. <laughs> Bitch, are you dating fourteen year old boys? <laughs> that must be what you're doing because grown men don't behave that way. Adults you, don't behave that you're, way. You're holding you're holding pussy over me. Bitch, niggas be like thirty years old, bro. I just go find another bitch. What are you talking about? It's pussy everywhere, mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. And you out here talking about and the way we gonna chase you acting right, acting stupid like that. Right, and the way these girls is giving it up these days, right? Uh, like, really, you really think that you you're really think that's that. gonna hold me? That's so stupid. Because if you, you, she basically took away all the things Still that women that. do in relationships. If you took away all that shit, then what are you good for? What do you do? Why would I stay with you? Women think of relationships as completely one sided. That they're just like. I'm going to hear just exist and that's good enough. And he's going to do all this huge list of things for me. And if he makes any demands, he's sassy, he's this, he's that. You motherfuckers are fucking degenerates. You're rats, bro. You're literal sewer gutter rats. Oh, she's the king rat. Right. King rat. <laughs> fucking rat, bro. This shit's crazy. I would love nothing more than be face to face in a debate with somebody like this, son. I'll violate you. You're a fucking rat. You're 45 years old and you're alone and you're a fucking rat giving bad advice to younger women. You know who took this bitch's advice? The Cheesecake Factory girl. Probably. No, not probably. She said so. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Yes. She said so. <laughs> and what did that lead to? You listen to this goofy bitch and what happened? That nigga told you, we're going home. She, she tried to make weird... 
She was talking like how that bitch talks. She was making weird level demands like, so call them. Call them now. No. Fuck you talking about. You can't tell me what to do, bitch. Go back in your house where you belong, you fucking rats. Skedaddle rats. Right. Fucking scallywags out here trying to give niggas fucking Harlots. advice. Right. She giving advice for whores talking about this is how you maintain a relationship. No. That's how you get slutted out like a fucking thought and left on the side of the road. Yeah. Promise you. Promise you that. <laughs> the fuck out of here. No way.